Hello everyone, I just thought about making a short tutorial on Blender and Godot. So recently Godot has gone into beta stage which means it's about time we start messing around with it. I'll start by saying this disclaimer that I'm no expert in game development and I'm just like you a hobbyist trying to explore new technologies. With that being said though, I've used Unreal Engine in the past on small project and just learning and i fell in love with godot at some stage so yes i'm not going to lecture you about my opinions on why i fell in love with godot or why you should use godot but godot just feels simple like you're in control before i get off topic let's dive into the reason why i'm making this tutorial godot 3.2.4 got the ability to import fbx files and now godot 4 you can also import blender files directly so let's start by creating a new project and i'll name this project fbx to gltf and blender and i'll create a folder in project directory and then i'll set this to none and create an edit after opening Godot engine, you'll notice that you get these two warnings that you haven't set the path for the Blender file import and also for the FPX file import. So in order for you to be able to import FPX files and Blender files, you first need to install Blender on your system and also download the FPX to GLTF file. I have left the link in the description or you can also download it from GitHub. I'll leave the link in the description. So the first one's for Linux, the second one's for Mac OS, and the third one's for Windows, which is the one that you need if you're on Windows like myself. Let's get this out of the way. So now we'll need to head to the editor, editor settings, and then file system, and then imp. So you need to change this path to the directory where you installed your Blender file, and also you need to get the path in which you have downloaded your FPX2 GLTF file to or you can copy to another directory and then access it from that directory so let's start by going to start and then typing blender and then open file location and then again right click and then open file location so you'll get the path where the blender file is installed so you'll just copy this path right click and copy you can close that and then you click this folder and small and then after that you paste the path there you press enter and then it will open the direction where you install for uh, blender and then you just select that path this will allow you to import blender files and then for the fbx to gltf path you need to copy the file which you downloaded into a directory so i normally create a new directory so i'll just open file manager and then create a new directory and i'm going to call this fbx to gltf and then i'll go where i downloaded my file to and then I'll copy that file and paste it there. So I'll select Godot and then FX to GLTF. So I'll paste that file there. And then back to Godot. So what I'll do is I'll select that and then I'll select my FPX to GLTF. And then I'll select it and then open. So now you have set up your FPX to GLTF, which means now you can import fpx files on godot but before you can import them you need to first restart the engine so because i haven't created anything so i can just select don't save i'll close that so now let's open godot again and then open our project so after the op the project opens now you can open the um, the output and you'll notice that we no longer have those errors which means we can now create a 3d scene and i'll call this world and i'll just save it i'll create a folder and call it scene and i'll save it inside of that folder and i'll create another folder and i'll call it assets and i'm going to open my file manager so i'll just right click that and then open file manager and then go to desktop where i save my models uh, i'll also leave a link for you to download this model i created them last year so i'm going to upload this on the assets into the assets folder so i'll just drag and drop them there on the assets folder and then uh, godot will upload them after that you'll notice that we have the viking .blend and the viking .fpx, which means uh, we're successful importing our blend file and also the fpx file so we need to create a new scene uh inherited scene so we'll just right click and then click inherited scene so we'll notice that uh this model 
was imported but without the materials so you can apply the materials i have created the textures folder with all the textures so you can copy those textures you can just uh, select them and drag them drop them into the project directory and godot will import them and then after that you can save this as a viking .tcn. and then after saving you can actually add the material by coming to surface material override and create a new standard material 3d and then under albedo you wanna change the texture to viking xe x green uh, albedo and then you can see that we have applied that material there and all uvs are correct and then you can apply other things like uh, the roughness i have created the roughness for this material so you can add it there and you can also add the normal map you enable it there and then you go to the texture and then you, you add it there so after that you also need to do the same for the, the blade so you go to surface material uh you can you can actually reuse this material because it's using the same material for both so you can go there and then um you can save this material so let's save it as a resource so let's call it x viking x material and then after that you can notice that it saved um the material was saved under scene so you have this material so you can apply the same materials to that surface and it will update automatically and everything will be fine so after that we can notice that you have you are able to upload the fbx file so you can save it and then now let's open the blend file so you do the same thing you open it as a new inherited scene so you'll notice that uh the blend file is going to come with a lot of things that you don't need that way inside the blend file so you can remove these things in the blend or you can just hide them yeah because we don't need them we only need the x so you can do the same thing it's using the same material so just go to scene and then just put that material there and it will apply and then also the blade so just apply that material there and then i'm going to save this as viking exe underscore blend so i'm just gonna save that so you can see now you're able to upload the blender file and also the fbx file so you can leave the comment if you have any questions and also consider subscribing and liking this video if it helped you thank you for watching